And with two pair, Chris Moneymaker, a statistical improbability to win this title at the outset, is now closing in on making it an incredible reality. Poker. It's a game that's been played for centuries. And yet despite its long history, poker was still a very insular game until its popularity exploded in the early 2000s. Thanks in large part to an unassuming man, unironically named Chris Moneymaker. Won the World Series of Poker. Wee. His rags to riches story not only made him an overnight celebrity, but transformed the game of poker and how it was perceived by the general public. Suddenly everybody in the country, whether they live close to a casino or not, said, hey, I didn't even know poker was available online. Before I go any further, welcome to my new channel, Poker Boom. This is my first video, so if you like what you see, please subscribe, consider giving the video a like. I'm really passionate about poker and I hope you enjoy the content. All right, let's get back into it. Chris Moneymaker's ascent to poker fame began in 2003 when he entered the World Series of Poker main event. This tournament, which is held annually in Las Vegas, is considered the most prestigious event in the poker world. It does not get any bigger than this. This could be the last card of the 2003 World Series of Poker. At the time, Moneymaker was a 27-year-old accountant from Tennessee with no professional poker experience. He qualified for the event through an $86 satellite tournament on PokerStars, a buy-in worth $10,000. He then headed to Sin City to compete against some of the best poker players in the world. We're going to Vegas, Mike. Vegas! However, his journey through the main event was anything but smooth sailing. You know, it's up to you, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't even know how to hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where is he? He had to overcome many challenges. He had a series of bad beats. He had a dwindling chip stack. Things were not going his way. But Moneymaker kept his cool. He persevered, he gradually built his stack up, and against all odds, he made it to the final table of the tournament. Now at the final table, Moneymaker was up against some of the biggest names in poker. We've got David Lester, Dan Harrington, Young Pack, and of course, Sammy Farha. Farha was and is a very well-known professional poker player from Lebanon, known for always having a cigarette hanging out of his mouth, just like this. Go home, it's over, go home, let me think. Despite being the underdog, Moneymaker played aggressively, he took risks, and he made bold moves that paid off in a big way. In the final hand of the tournament, Moneymaker was dealt 5-4 offsuit, a hand that most players would have folded without hesitation. Semi Farha landed a jack-10 offsuit, raised, and got a quick call from Moneymaker. When the flop came, they each got a piece, with Semi Farha landing top pair with a jack, and Moneymaker hitting two pair with his 5-4. Moneymaker checked. Farha bet 175,000, to which Moneymaker raised to 300,000, and quickly got an all-in call from Farha. Okay, I'll go all-in, let's go. Let's I'll call. call. Sam Farha goes all-in, and Chris Moneymaker's gonna call it. Moneymaker called, hitting a full boat on the river, and won the tournament. Yeah! Moneymaker's win was a huge upset, not only because he was an unknown amateur player, but because he had qualified for the main event through an online satellite tournament, something that had never been done before. His win inspired a new generation of poker players and helped to popularize the game, leading to a boom in online poker and the creation of many new poker tournaments around the world. His unexpected victory in the main event earned him a staggering at the time $2.5 million. It sent shockwaves through the poker community and marked the beginning of what would later be called the moneymaker effect. Moneymaker's victory demonstrated that poker was no longer just a game for seasoned professionals. His success showed that anyone with a basic understanding of the game could compete at the highest level and potentially win life-changing sums of money. The media coverage of Moneymaker's story created a surge in interest in poker, with millions of people around the world flocking to online poker sites and local card rooms, all trying to try their luck and end up like Moneymaker. Now before Moneymaker's win, the idea of entering a high-stakes poker tournament might have seemed out of reach for the average person. However, his story proved that with the perfect combination of skill, of luck, of determination, anyone could reach poker stardom. Now this shift in perception made the game more accessible and more appealing to a wider audience, drawing in players who may have never even considered playing poker before. Online poker sites played a significant role in the increased accessibility as well. These platforms allowed people to learn the game, to practice their skills, and qualify for major events through satellite tournaments, just as Moneymaker had done. The growth of online poker provided an avenue for players to hone their skills in a low-pressure environment without the intimidation of playing against seasoned professionals in a live setting. 
Moneymaker's journey from an unknown amateur to a multi-millionaire overnight captured the imagination of aspiring poker players everywhere. His success fueled dreams of winning big money, making it seem not only possible, but almost probable. And this allure of instant wealth attracted countless new players to the game, with many hoping to replicate Moneymaker's extraordinary success. And of course, as more people began playing poker, the prize pools for major tournaments grew exponentially. The WSOP main event, for example, saw its prize pool increase from $7.8 million in 2003 to over $24 million in 2006. This growth in prize money only served to further stoke the dreams of players, creating a virtuous cycle that continued to attract new players to the game. The poker boom brought on by the moneymaker effect also led to the emergence of poker as a form of mainstream entertainment. Television networks began airing poker tournaments complete with expert commentary and whole card cameras that allowed viewers to see the players' hidden cards. This level of exposure turned previously unknown poker players into overnight celebrities, their faces becoming as recognizable as those of professional athletes or Hollywood stars. Moneymaker himself became an instant celebrity, with his face gracing the covers of magazines and his story inspiring a new generation of poker enthusiasts. Other poker players such as Phil Ivey, Daniel Negreanu, and Phil Lack also gained fame and recognition as a result of the poker boom. These players all of a sudden became household names, further adding to the mystique and appeal of the game. The rise of poker celebrities created new opportunities for players, such as sponsorship deals, book deals, appearances on TV shows. For the first time, professional poker players were seen as more than just gamblers. They were celebrities. And this shift in perception further legitimized poker as a career and a viable means to achieve fame and fortune. The moneymaker effect had a far-reaching impact for the poker industry. The increased interest in the game led to the creation of numerous poker-related businesses, poker training websites, poker magazines, poker merchandise. The game became more global with the World Series of Poker and other major tournaments expanding their presence to Europe, Asia, and other regions. The poker boom created a more diverse player base, and poker rooms and online poker sites began to attract a broader demographic. There were more women, there were younger players entering the game, and this diversity helped to break down the stereotype of poker as a game played exclusively by middle-aged men in smoke-filled rooms. Four jacks. You owe me 15 grand, pal. But of course, with all these upsides, the moneymaker effect also had its downsides. The increased popularity of poker led to a more competitive environment as players became more skilled and the level of play at major tournaments rose significantly. The game also faced regulatory challenges, particularly in the US where online poker was effectively banned in 2011. It's a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of participants and on Friday it was shut down by federal agents. Yet despite these setbacks, the impact of Chris Moneymaker's victory continues to resonate in the poker world. Moneymaker's unexpected victory at the 2003 World Series of Poker main event revolutionized the game of poker, period. His rags to riches story made poker more accessible to non-professionals, inspiring millions of people to try their hand at the game. The moneymaker effect changed the perception of poker, turning it into a form of mainstream entertainment and creating a new generation of poker celebrities. And although the poker landscape has evolved since Moneymaker's win, his impact on the game and the industry remains undeniable. Chris Moneymaker will forever be remembered as the man who transformed poker and brought it to the masses. And that's it for this one. If you've made it this far, please consider subscribing to Poker Boom, where I'll be releasing new videos every week all about the Poker Boom. If there's a specific topic you want me to cover, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.